Hi there. Here are the seeds and cuttings I promised you. These are one large agapanthus blue, two medium agapanthus white, three small agapanthus blue, four hardy hibiscus seeds, and five hardwood cuttings of viburnum placatum var cascade company. The viburnum placatum I included can get up to 12 feet tall and bloom pretty early in the year. You can prune them back just like the hibiscus to get a more compact shrub or hedge. Let me know how things go please. Have fun and thanks for all the shared info. Greetings to the family, Bert. Man, Bert, I'm excited. Bert, it looks like everything arrived in great condition. And as you know, I am really excited about these viburnum cuttings. They're in perfect condition. They're already starting to callus up around the base because they've been in a warm environment as they went through the mail. And I think all I'm gonna do is take these inside now, rinse them off real good with water, and just make sure they're nice and moist. And we're gonna get these things stuck in some soil. So there they are. Today is December 9th and I'm really excited to see if these guys are going to root. I think they will. We've already got callus down below and it's a nice warm environment now. We're not going to cover them just like we never cover hardwood cuttings. I'm going to keep these moist though. I've got them buried down at least halfway in the bark there. I'll keep this real moist and occasionally if I have to spray with a spray bottle. But look at those little puppies. I'll come back when something's happened. All right, today is January 12th, and it's just a couple days past one month. Look at all those beautiful cuttings. Man, I never get tired of looking at that. Check this out. We've got a little bloom already on this guy here, and we've got blooms down in here. Now, this is Double File Viburnum, one of my all-time favorite landscape plants. It's a deciduous shrub, so it loses its leaves in the winter, but in the spring, early on, it blooms in these beautiful layers of white flowers all the way out to the edges of the branches, and that's why they call them Double File Viburnum, I believe. They've got the, the leaves on every branch, and then the blooms just above it, and it just makes a spectacular show. But look at the success we got. In a second here, I'm going to try and pull some of these out. I might just, I might turn them upside down like I've done for you before and just show you the roots around the outside of the container. But I am just am amazed. I'm impressed. These cuttings came all the way from Belgium. Thank you again, Bert. But check them out. I know you're going to be excited to see this. They all rooted. Every single one of them has got roots, as far as I can tell anyway. Yep, even that guy. Little growth, little branches coming on and they're all growing healthy. All right, so I've tried to arrange this so that we can show you this in good lighting. I had to get inside this tent, but I'm gonna take this like I've done before. I mean, look at that, guys. Look at that. How can you not love that? Hardwood cutting from Belgium and they just root like crazy. All right, let's go ahead and try flipping these upside down. Oh, and I should show you this real quick first. We've got roots, you can see them, all the way out to the bottom there. You see that? I'm dripping, dripping all over the place. We've got roots out of the bottom. I'll show you another one here. Look at that. Nice roots. Can you see that? I'm not sure if you can. We'll see. Let's pull these guys out of the pots and see what we've got. It is so cold outside right now, and it is so nice to be able to do this indoors under this lighting in this tent. Look at that. 
Look at that. We've got roots everywhere. Check that out, guys. Look at that. Roots all over that plant. Give myself a little bit of it. There we go. You see all that? All of these cuttings are rooted. Let's get this guy back in here. Get them nice and safe and sound. There we go. Let's check out the other one. Now, these were thicker cuttings here. So generally, I find that the thicker cuttings produce heavier, thicker roots. And in this case, they do seem to have some thicker roots. There's just not as many of them. But I also find that with the thicker cuttings, too, is they just take a little bit longer to root. But look at that. Roots all around the inside. We got these things going. They are rooted. We've got... Viburnum Plicatum Tomentosum, I think it is, all the way from Belgium. All right, so here's what I'm going to do with these cuttings now. There's two things. One, we've got to fertilize them, and this is just my Apex commercial fertilizer I use on all my outdoor plants, rhododendrons. I just bring them, brought some in here so that I could fertilize indoor plants. This is new. Usually I fertilize with a liquid fertilizer through the winter when I'm doing indoor plants, but I think it's going to be a lot easier. We just throw some slow release fertilizer on there. All we got to worry about is watering. The other thing we're going to do is put some mosquito bits on. And sometimes you guys ask, what do you do for fungus gnats? That's what I do. Now, does this stuff completely eradicate fungus gnats? No, I still occasionally get, in fact, you can see one flying around here now. I still occasionally get a few fungus gnats throughout there, but this stuff keeps them really well at bay and I don't have to worry about it so much. The other thing I do is I'll hang a yellow sticky trap occasionally up in a corner somewhere and that kind of helps keep things under control. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this stuff in each pot. We're gonna put a little bit of this in each of these and we'll water them in and they'll be good to go. All right, so there they are, growing and thriving. The only question is now, how am I gonna keep these things going all through the rest of winter? Because typically, I wouldn't root these things until later on in the late winter, just before the buds start to break. But because these came all the way from Belgium, and when I received them, they had gone through a warm period where there was callus built up on the bottoms. I thought, I don't want to stifle this right now. I just want to get them in some material and get them rooted because I didn't want to lose them and I can't just run to Belgium and get more cuttings. So I'll say for now, thank you so much, Bert, for the cuttings. I love this plant. One of my absolute favorite deciduous shrubs. They're going to be beautiful in my landscape. Thank you again. Thank you so much. And as you guys know, I love stories that go along with plants. I'm excited and happy to plant these out on my property and always know where they came from. Really cool that we got these guys to root. As usual, if you guys want to know more about these things, how I got them to this point, and maybe I missed something in here, just let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, I hope you learned something from this. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe if you want to follow along. Have a fantastic week, guys, and uh, we'll definitely do updates on these. I'll see you in the next video. Adios.